Andrew Yeager is student assistance coordinator at Park Ridge, New Jersey, in Park Ridge, New Jersey, and also co-executive producer of a terrific video piece called uh, Sticks and Stones and a Stir certified school psychologist. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell us, before we get about to see a clip from the Classroom Close-Up series uh, with the NJA, tell us about what Sticks and Stones was all about. Well, it, it's a film about cyberbullying primarily, but it really is about many other things. Um, we actually had uh, been speaking both to our students and, and really throughout the state on the issue of cyberbullying, which was really hitting big and nobody was equipped to handle it. People didn't even understand it. And we sat around saying, gee, wouldn't it be nice if we had some kind of program for cyberbullying? We looked around and there's just nothing out there. So we decided to put something out there. And it's interesting. What kind of reaction have you gotten from it? Incredible. This is something that the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office embraced. Um, a, a, a colleague of mine at the Park Ridge Police Department, Lieutenant Joe Rampola, and I kind of were the ones who were ruining the fact that there was just nothing out there. And we go out and we do a lot of speaking about the, the problem to kids, to parents, to organizations, to law enforcement. Um, and we said, gee, wouldn't it be nice if we had some kind of program like, uh, and we referenced a film called Stone Cold, which is yep. a DWI prevention film. Um, I was involved in the making of that film as well. And we actually brought it to the people, Chase Wilson and Montvale, who made Stone Cold and said, do you think we could do a Stone Cold on internet safety? Um, they said, oh, what a wonderful idea, and we need to do this, but you know, then how do we is. actually make it happen? Well, then Lieutenant Rampola, who's a member of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office Computer Crimes Task Force, uh, brought it to the prosecutor's office, and they embraced it completely, and then now we're in a position- You ready to, to see say, this? I'm ready to see it. You've seen it before, seen but it before. some of you, most of you out there have not, but now you're about to see it. Uh, sticks and stones from Classroom Close-Up. Oh. <laughs> I heard his profile has a bunch of gay porn sites. No way. That's disgusting. What a freak. What a pervert. Leave him alone. There's no question this is an unflinching look at the nature of cyberbullying, both for the victim, the bully, and the bystander. This is taken right from the headlines of most newspapers. You see the consequences of cyberbullying all the time. Come on, Lynn. You should talk to him. Looks like he needs to talk to you. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. If you're not going to talk to him, I will. It's very hard to get kids to uh, pay attention to a lesson for a full class period. And, and our goal was to create that experience so that um, it really got their attention, um, but also got across all of the points that we wanted to make about this very important topic. Like other schools, we have the substance abuse issues here. Uh, we have the bullying issues. Um, uh, the bullying issue, I think, rises to the top a little more because of the anonymity of the internet. Uh, bullying has become more prevalent. Watching it. Oh, pain. Because it is a it's a it's a very intense program, we want to make sure that it's going out there responsibly and that the people who are showing it, which are primarily teachers at this point, uh, have sufficient training. Now the film is accompanied by a fairly extensive teacher's guide, which really takes teachers step by step through how to uh, set up the film, show the film, and most importantly how to process the film. We set a two and a half hour block of time to show the film and to have the process right after the film. Do you think hate speech is easier to use it online than it is to use face-to-face, -face, Alex? People are able to say much more than they ever would online, you know, rather than in uh, real life. And I think that hate, hate speech has grown accordingly. It's from like another kid's perspective and like what could actually happen and what probably does happen every day. It changes your mind about things and changes how you think. I think it's really awesome that you know, adults reached out to us and kind of looked from a teenager's perspective because, you know, you think adults, they don't know what we're going through. High school is, you know, drama and crazy. And I think it's really cool that they got behind what a teenager goes through every day. What kind of reaction have you gotten? 
just incredible. We decided, we, we were hoping that this would go throughout Bergen County and then hopefully throughout most of New Jersey. It's international. It's being shown right now in just about every state in the United States mm -hmm. and probably at last count, maybe 15 other countries throughout the world, uh, Africa, Europe. How'd you uh, get these kids? It was really wonderful. They, we just did an open casting call and we notified all the schools, you know, to kind of let your, your drama teachers know uh, that we're doing this, this uh, open casting. Um, I was a part of that and it was an amazing experience because what do I know about filmmaking? Um, and just the number of kids that showed up and uh, to watch that whole process, how the, the director and the writers were there and in, in many ways they knew immediately when a kid walked in and said, that's who we want. By the way, uh, log on to our website, we'll link you to our partners at the NJEA for more information on this, but I'm, I'm gonna do this about the, about the film. <sighs> I was thinking about um, the use of the film, teachers. It's for teachers and for students, but I noticed that it's incredibly emotional and powerful. Why did it have to be so impactful? First of all, uh, we wanted to make a film. There's no sugarcoating here. Not at all. Uh, in fact, if you know, this is an unflinching look at what's going on uh, from a teenager's perspective. And we felt we had to do that, A, for credibility, because we needed kids to relate to this film. We had to tell their story, which is why, as you saw in the clip, that the one girl who was saying that she thought it was great uh, that the adults actually reached out. We did. We had focus group after focus group, and we wanted to know from kids, what is your experience? Because if this film isn't believable from beginning to end, we're going to lose them. So they have to be able to relate to it. Why is it so impactful? Well, the research is pretty clear that when you create kind of an emotionally intense situation, learning takes place a lot more comprehensively. So, um, you know, in our generation, I could ask anybody, where were you when JFK was shot? Now you can say, where were you on 9-11? If you've ever been in a car crash, when emotion is running high, our ability to remember things and to learn things is exquisite. We could remember what song was on the radio, what we were wearing that day. We've tried to take advantage of that and deliberately create a very emotionally evocative film so that when we do teach after the film and we do the processing and we do the activities, that the emotional window is open and that really stamps in the learning. So we're just really piggybacking on what the research tells.